18 Righteous Wills. What is going on with everybody? How y'all doing today on this lovely, lovely Thursday? It's bright and sunny outside. It's hot as hell outside. Out here in Michigan right now. I want to talk to y'all about something, man. Freightliner. Everybody that knows me knows I love my Freightliner, my freight shakers, my freight baby. Everybody know I love a Freightliner 18 Willis, man. Y'all know I love them. Y'all know I love them tractor trailers, man. Here's the problem. The Freightliner dealerships ain't worth a damn. Mainly, mainly the one, I believe it was Clarksville, Indiana. It was like five minutes from Louisville. Right across the boom. Go right across the bridge. Boom. Be right in there. I think it's Clarksville. Something like that. Anyway. I had a check engine uh, light come on on my on my dash on my truck so I checked the code out I'm like, okay cool I let my boss know like, hey this is the issue this was going on and he's like, okay you're about an hour away from a Freightliner uh, dealership or uh, or shop take it there boom so take it there they don't let they didn't let me sleep on it I couldn't sleep in my truck on property I had to take my truck apart. I had to go to a hotel. I ended up having to go to a hotel for three days. Um, according to what my boss said, they were extremely rude. They would not answer his questions. Uh, he was trying to figure out what exactly what the issue was with the truck. They like they didn't want to tell him anything. Uh, when I asked, it's on your paperwork. I'm like, damn. Okay, cool. Whatever. Mind you, I was there for three days. I had to pay for a hotel room for three days. I got reimbursed for that, obviously. My boss is a good dude. He's a good dude, man. Got reimbursed for that. <clears throat> this was last Tuesday when this happened. Last Tuesday or last Wednesday when this had happened, right? It's Thursday now. That same check engine light came back on yesterday when I was on my way home from Mississippi, the exact same fault codes came up the exact, as soon as I seen them, I took, pulled over, took my 30 minutes and I, I looked at the fault codes. It's the exact same codes I gave my boss the week prior. So why we both having, feeling, having a feeling that all they do is clear the fault code so it wouldn't pop up on the dash did a forest region and just took eight nine hundred dollars out of our pocket for what reason they didn't even actually fix the issue and the issue was the knock sensors the sensors actually had to be replaced they didn't fix the issue so that dealership is trash if you're anywhere near that freightliner dealership don't deal with them don't take your truck over there for them to fix it because obviously they're not going to fix it so now my truck is in the shop again. Obviously, you can tell I'm in a hotel room again because my truck's in the shop again. Hopefully, it actually gets fixed this time, get fixed for real because this is pretty annoying. I should be on the road right now. Uh, somebody texting me. I should be on the road right now. Not sitting, Even though sitting in the hotel room was pretty cool. Get a nice hot shower. Uh, king size bed, you know. It's not, it's not bad, but it's trash though, because these idiots literally did not fix the issue. They did not fix the problem. It's the knock sensors, NOX, NOX. It's the knock sensors. That is two sensors that are connected to the engine. And what that pretty much does is when those go completely bad, you're going to lose power. You know, you're going to lose power to the engine. You don't want to be going downhill or trying to go up a hill and your truck shut off on you. So, yeah, man, those people are trash, dude. Stay away from them. If I'm not mistaken, it's Clarksville, Indiana or something like that. Whatever that little says, right as soon as you, you hit Louisville and you coming up on the state border, it's like five-minute drive right across the bridge. Boom. It's trash, bro. Stay away from them people. It's a struggle. They basically just took money from us. That's pretty much what they did. 
because they damn sure didn't fix the issue. And they had my truck for three days. And y'all didn't fix what the problem was. Like, come on now. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show y'all y'all show y'all my mask, then I'm gonna get out of here. Ha 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 Yeah, but I'm out though. I'm just keeping y'all updated, letting y'all know what's going on. Cause I'm definitely tired of my truck having to go into the shop for the same thing. I'm out. <laughs>